In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a couple of flowers using Adobe Illustrator. And to get started on this tutorial today, all you need to do is open up Illustrator. And I want you to make a new file. From the new document uh, menu that pops up, choose the web templates. And we'll go with this minimum template here of 1024 by 768 pixels in size and click on create. Next thing we're going to do is put a background color onto our artboard here. So go and grab yourself the rectangle tool from your toolbox and change the fill color to a pinky kind of color and turn the stroke off. Okay, we're going to hover in the top left hand corner of our artboard and when we see the word intersect appear near our mouse cursor, we can click and drag down to the bottom right corner until the word intersect appears down the bottom and we can drop it into place and we've got our background all sorted. Now it's a good point, uh, sorry, a good time to go to our layers panel here and expand layer one. And just rename that rectangle layer to background and lock it into position. So hit this little empty box here next to the eye, which will mean we can no longer move or modify this background while it's locked. We can always unlock it later on if we want to do some editing to it, but for now, lock it into place. All right. Now that our background's in, we can start drawing the first flower. So I want you to go to your toolbox and hold your mouse down on the rectangle tool there. And from the little fly out menu, choose the polygon tool. We're going to change the fill color of that polygon tool to a pink. And I might make it a bit lighter so it's a bit more pastel-y. And I'm just going to click once on my artboard once I've chosen that fill color. A box will pop up asking what size we want this um, polygon to be and how many sides it needs to have. So I'm going to leave these settings I've already got here. So 200 pixels for the radius and 8 for the number of sides. And that's just going to draw an octagon on the screen for us like so. With your octagon on the screen, we can now convert this into a flower uh, by simply going to the effect menu at the top, going to distort and transform and selecting pucker and bloat. With the preview box selected, you can move this slider to the left to see what the pucker effect looks like. Looks cool, but it's not a flower. If you go to the right though and move it to the bloat side, you'll see that it starts to look a bit more like a flower. And I'm just going to jump up to about 80%. I think that looks pretty good. And I'll click on OK. Uh, once your flower is looking like that, you're almost finished. All you need to do now is just grab your ellipse tool and change the fill color there to... A lightish kind of yellow, I guess, would look good here for the inside of the flower. Again, I'm going to go with those pastel kind of colors. And I'm just going to hold shift and click and drag over the top of the center of that flower. Okay. If you want to get this circle properly centered on this flower, I'll just show you how to do that. I might move it off to the side to show you what you can do. Let's highlight both items. So they're both selected, the flower petals and the uh, middle bit of the flower. Go to your align panel here and horizontally align the center first and then vertically align the center next. Okay, and that gets them smack bang on top of each other like so. And that's pretty much it for your first flower. Okay, I would just highlight both of those now and press Control G on your keyboard to group them together. Push it off to the side. Make it a bit smaller if you want. But that is your first flower done. Super easy. Next one isn't too hard, but it has a little bit more work involved with it. So I want you to go back and grab your ellipse tool from your toolbox. Change your fill color to, well, let's go like a light orange color and draw yourself an oval on the screen, just something like that. Not too big, um, just one of these. This is going to be the first petal in our second flower. Now with this petal selected, we're going to go and grab the rotate tool from our toolbox. It's that little curly arrow. I'm going to hold down alt and I'm going to click just below that petal. Uh, so I reckon probably about there looks good. Now the angle we want to rotate at is 45 degrees. And I'm just going to click on copy. And what that does is creates a copy of that pedal just here and rotates it 45 degrees. Now without clicking off it, I want you to press Control D on your keyboard to duplicate that pedal and the effect we just put on the rotate effect. And I want you to keep pressing Control D another few times until we get a complete circle like so. Okay, so that looks really good. Now would be a good time to highlight those petals and press Ctrl G to group them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit and Copy, and then Edit, Paste in Place. Okay, so we've now got two copies of these petals, one on top of the other. What we're going to do is just click off one here, and we'll click back on um, these petals again. So I've just got the top layer selected. 
And we are going to change the fill color to, I'm going to go yellow, but again, just lighten her up a little bit. And I'm going to rotate these now by grabbing the rotate tool again, holding Alt on my keyboard and clicking right on the center point of this flower. Now we're going to halve the angle that we rotate at now. So 22.5 degrees is half of 45 degrees, which we previously rotated at. And just click on OK. And you've now just rotated all of those petals in that top layer. So you can see what that looks like now. That's looking pretty sweet. Uh, to finish off with, we need to put a circle in the middle here for the inside part of the flower. So I might highlight... Actually, no, I'll just leave it as it is. We'll just draw this in. Grab your ellipse tool. Change your color to... Uh, from your swatches, I'm going to go... Um, probably this brown here. Yeah, I'm going to use shades of brown for this. So yeah, I'll go this brown here. And I'm just going to hold shift and draw myself a circle through the middle of that flower. Okay, now, probably a good idea to highlight it and horizontally align the center. Not sure if this vertical align is going to work here. There we go. So that little brown um, center to the flower is now fully centered. Now, I'm going to make a little effect here, like a kind of a fade effect, uh, to make this look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to click on this circle and go up to Object and Path and Offset Path. What we're doing here is making a second circle. It's going to be, I'm going to say 20 pixels. No, that's probably a bit too much. We'll go 10 pixels bigger than the first one we put in. We'll click on OK. And I'm going to change that fill color to a lighter brown. OK, so we've got two circles there, one on top of the other. Click on the outer circle, so the bigger one, and do that one more time. Go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. And we're going to make one more 10 pixel offset. Click OK. So it just makes a circle that's 10 pixels bigger. And change your fill again to an even lighter brown like so. OK, so we've got three circles here, one on top of the other. And we're going to blend these together. OK, so to do that, we're going to use this um, blend tool over here in our toolbox. Now, I think you've got to select all three of those circles first. So I just held down Shift and clicked on each of those three circles. So they're all selected. I'll grab my blend tool now, and I think we just click on them. One, two, three. And you can see they're now blending in with one another. All right, so zooming back now by pressing Control zero, that will take me back, and I can see that flower is looking pretty good. I'm going to highlight it all now and press Control g to group it all together. And if you want, you can go down to your layers panel here and just write, well, we'll just write yellow flower and pink flower. All right, so that's how you draw a couple of flowers um, using Adobe Illustrator. You could put some stems on them if you wanted to. You could put them into a little garden, do what you want. But just a couple of simple techniques there to create a couple of flowers.